Hey, what's up guys? I want to talk about vitamin B12 today. Um, now, I've been a vegan for a year and three months, and it's important to know that I haven't been supplementing B12 uh, regularly or consistently at all. I would only eat B12 fortified foods every once in a while, uh, not nearly enough to correct a deficiency or keep my levels very um, elevated. So, on May 4th, um, I'm going to go into a little bit of the story of of what's been going on. So, on May 4th, I bumped my head a little, a little bit harder than uh, I would have liked on the ground, and and from that moment on, I kind of I felt a little off, and so I I felt uh, really tired, disoriented, um, ir irritable. Uh, I just really felt not right. And so my instant reaction was that I got a concussion. And because I've had multiple really mild concussions before. And so I was thinking, yo, this is probably just another little concussion. So I went to the doctor at my school on, uh, so I hit my head, that was on a Wednesday, May 4th. And then I went through the weekend. I didn't really rest. I didn't really do anything to reduce stress. Uh, I drove all the way home, which is two hours away and back. Um, yeah, and so I came back to school and went to the health center and kind of started going through concussion protocol. I didn't go to class. I was just laying around doing nothing, uh, sleeping a lot and resting. Then after the next weekend on Monday, I went back to the health center and that's when I kind of started feeling some numbness in my hands and in, in my feet um, and that was concerning and so I mentioned that to the, the, the doctor and she uh, we just kind of decided that I would come back another time during the week and see how things were going and if it was getting worse then I would come back sooner so the next day I went to class and I felt awful I could it was very difficult to walk because of the numbness in my hands and my feet. Um, I felt very, just very out of it, very, it was hard to walk. Um, I'm trying to think of how to describe how I was feeling. It was just not right. I felt weak. Um, and so I left class early and went to the health center. And I mentioned that I'd been vegan and that I had I had been thinking about getting my B12 levels checked for a while, but I hadn't. And so we got them checked, and it turned out that my B12 levels were at 137, uh, which is low. And so this prompted me to uh, start researching B12 a lot. Um, the doctor told me to just oral, um, take oral supplements, 2,000 micrograms every day orally. And check in in a month and I started to research about B12 and I got really freaked out because <laughs> a lot of there are a lot of cases where things have or the deficiency has gone on for a long time un, untreated and those symptoms have become permanent and even escalated or elevated to really intense and scary things so this caused me to I called another doctor and made an appointment to hopefully get B12 injections because I've I heard that that's like immediately absorbed into your bloodstream and probably the best way to go in terms of um, correcting a deficiency and uh, eliminating the symptoms associated with the B12 deficiency. And so I got I went to the doctor and the doctor was very hesitant to give me injections um, because my my red blood cells were normal size, which doesn't indicate uh, pernicious anemia. And so that's good. That means that um, I don't have pernicious anemia. Um, and so we, she gave me an injection though, and we were gonna do injections once a day for a week, and then once every week, and then once every month, um, or once every week for four weeks, and then once a month from there on out. But she didn't really want to do that. Um, she, 
she um and I, she's probably right that the reason why I'm B12 deficient is just because I haven't been supplementing it and I have the ability to absorb it. Um, but we did check for my intrinsic factor, which the results of that haven't come back yet. But so we did get one injection and then the next day I was planning on going in to get an injection and then she called me or someone from the doctor's office called me to tell me not to come in, uh, that she didn't want to do the injections anymore because my she apparently tested my blood for B12 again right after she had given me B12 and my levels were at 1500 and so obviously they would be elevated right after she gave me B12 and so that didn't really make sense to me why she would stop that uh, stop the injections right away and so I kind of said okay and I was kind of confused um, and so I actually called yesterday and made an appointment to go back on Tuesday and hopefully I can get more injections uh, and hopefully the results of uh, my intrinsic factor status come in too but it was just really scary um, because the symptoms that I've been feeling have been very uncomfortable and they've uh, they've pretty much taken me out of uh, school for this quarter um, very strong, very scary, uh, numbness in my hands, uh, it feels like my propiocep my proprioception, like my, it feels like my, my limbs, my hands and my feet forget where things are, and so whenever I walk, it feels like every single step is kind of a surprise when I hit the ground, uh, and it feels like my, my mind forgets where my body parts are, um, so just not normal things that would happen if like otherwise and so I'm basically making this video to tell you guys that if you're vegan or even if you're not vegan that it's definitely important to check your vitamin b12 levels and if your vitamin b12 levels come back normal then definitely check the uh, other indicators like the MMA methyl malonic acid and homocysteine levels in your blood um, it's super scary because I don't know if my symptoms will resolve um, hopefully they will because it hasn't been too long that I've been feeling the numbness and the uh, difficulty walking but uh, I just don't know so I don't want you guys to have to go through anything scary like that because it's super scary and super stressful and it definitely is not something that I would want to have to deal with for the rest of my life but I don't know. So hopefully this helps um, you guys think about B12 a little bit more seriously. Uh, I know that I didn't really think about it and then it kind of just automatically, not automatically, it just quickly came up to be um, a thing that is not good. So yeah, watch out for your B12, uh, get it checked. Um, yeah, peace.